What's up everyone, welcome to Film Spot, and today we will be talking about best upcoming movies. With the curtains closing on the SAG after strike, Marvel Studios gears up to reignite its grand plans for the Marvel Cinematic Universe. While Deadpool 3 smoothly resumes its journey, whispers in the wind suggest a recalibration for Captain America Brave New Worlds. According to the grapevine, Marvel is taking Anthony Mackie's inaugural cinematic stint as the new Captain America back to the drawing board. Former trade reporter Jeff Snyder spills the beans, hinting at a less than stellar test screening for Captain America 4. I'm told Captain America 4 did not do great in a test screening, he shared on the Hot Mike podcast. Buckle up as word has it that three sequences are on the cutting room floor and reshoots are slated from January until May or June. Marvel Studios, true to form, remains tight-lipped about the rumors. However, Snyder's insights align with the studio's recent decision to push back the film's release to 2025, potentially indicating the need for these reshoots. While some might raise an eyebrow, industry norms deem reshoots par for the course, especially in the Marvel Universe, where excellence is non-negotiable. Stay tuned as the saga unfolds, promising a Captain America saga that's worth the wait. As the echoes of the WGA and SAG strikes fade away, a wave of television shows and movies surges back into production, and one series poised for a triumphant return is the tantalizing new addition to the Alien universe. Crafted by the creative genius Noah Hawley, renowned for his work on Fargo and Legion adaptations, the show is ready to resume its interstellar journey at the dawn of 2024. In a recent update from Deadline, Hawley expressed his eagerness to dive back into production swiftly, aiming for a January or February restart. We are getting back into production as quickly as possible, Hawley shared. We are shooting in Bangkok, a half a world away, shooting again in the new year. I got some footage. Some of the first hour was shot before we had to shut down. It's stuff to play with and edit, he added. I'm excited to get back in there. Hawley, during a panel at the Austin Film Festival, shed light on the show's futuristic Earth setting, strategically positioned about 70 years from now, preceding Sigourney Weaver's iconic Ripley. Despite the absence of an official release date from FX and 20th Century Studios, Hawley's earlier 2023 projection appears to have taken a detour. The series, yet to commence filming at this juncture, points toward a more realistic arrival in 2024. Buckle up for an otherworldly adventure as Noah Hawley steers the Alien series into uncharted territories, weaving a narrative that promises to be worth the extended cosmic wait. Exciting updates from the Mortal Kombat 2 set, Carl Urban, the face of Johnny Cage in the upcoming film, recently shared a behind-the-scenes snapshot on Instagram. The photo features Urban alongside co-stars, all flashing a distinctive two-finger pose for the camera. Urban's caption adds to the buzz, stating, We're back, baby! MK2, let's go! Love this cast! Johnny Cage, hinted in the previous film, is set to make his on-screen debut through Urban's portrayal. Over the next few months, we're sure to get all sorts of teasers from the set of the production. But a full-fledged trailer might not arrive until early 2024. What we do know is that joining the cast are newcomers Tati Gabriel, Adeline Rudolph, Anna Tuwin, Desmond Cham, and Martin Ford. Returning favorites include Louis Tan, Jessica McNamee, and Makad Brooks. Filming, which began in June, hit a pause in July due to the sag after strike, causing uncertainties about the timeline. However, production is back on track, reflecting Warner Brothers' commitment to the project. While the release date is yet to be announced, the resumption of filming signals a much-anticipated return to the Mortal Kombat universe. Even the roughest estimates from closest sources put the release date to be somewhere in the region of 2025. Until then, we will have to stay tuned for further updates and sneak peeks on the sequel. In other news though, Lionsgate, the distributor that is responsible for releasing the Now You See Me film series, has officially stated that they will be producing Now You See Me 3. No, we are not kidding. Being an incredibly important milestone when the filmmaker Ruben Fleischer, who is known for his work on blockbuster films such as Venom and Uncharted, became linked to the project in 2022, it served as the first apparent indication that the project was actually underway. Not to forget, it received quite the recognition. And now the announcement made by Lionsgate gives Now You See Me 3 the go-ahead for production, while also giving some indication that the film may have a very different tone than its two counterparts. 
This time, Fleischer is the third filmmaker to take charge of a Now You See Me movie, which highlights the franchise's devotion to infusing each edition with its own distinct artistic touch. And even though the cast for Now You See Me 3 has not yet been officially announced, there has been widespread speculation that the ensemble cast, featuring Mark Ruffalo, Jesse Eisenberg, Woody Harrelson, and Dave Franco, will be back for the third installment. While specific story details for Now You See Me 3 are currently under wraps, clues from the second installment suggest a continuation of the plotline involving Ruffalo's character taking charge of the Eye, a secret society of magicians. Some rumors even suggest the possibility of a soft reboot, leveraging the Eye as something that could take the plot forward. Even though the studio is hush-hush about details, we can expect the movie to release sometime around mid to late 2024. So while we await the confirmation on all of this, how about we hop on to what's next? In a revelation echoing across various media channels, the spotlight is on Maria Gabriela de Furia, the chosen one to embody Angela Spica, famously known as the Engineer, in James Gunn's upcoming film, Superman Legacy. This character, born from the pages of Warren Ellis and Brian Hitch's The Authority No. 1 in 1999, is poised to emerge as Superman's newest formidable adversary in DC Studios' grand re-debut. As the news reverberates, opinions are mixed among the masses, but fear not, for a glimpse into Angela's past works might just be the key to forming your own judgment. Defaria, already recognized for her roles in Deadly Class, Animal Control, and The Moody's, sees Superman Legacy as a pivotal opportunity to make a splash in the public eye. Stepping into the shoes of a member of The Authority, a formidable ensemble, the actress is set for an epic showdown against David Cornsweet's portrayal of the iconic Superman. Mark your calendars for July 11, 2025, as Superman Legacy charges ahead in its production and filming, promising a cinematic clash of titans between Defaria's The Engineer and Corin Sweat's Superman. The anticipation is real, and with every passing update, the excitement builds. Can't wait for this thrilling face-off in the superhero universe, right? Get ready for a clash of epic proportions. Breaking through the entertainment grapevine with seismic force, the latest buzz has it that Pedro Pascal, celebrated for his iconic roles in Game of Thrones, The Last of Us, and The Mandalorian, is teetering on the edge of a monumental leap into the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Brace yourselves, rumor has it he's being eyed for the role of Reed Richards in the highly anticipated Fantastic Four reboot. Yes, you heard that correctly. These speculations have been weaving through the entertainment fabric for a while now. However, the plot thickens, as Kevin Feige, the visionary at the helm of Marvel Studios, recently dropped the bombshell, there's a Fantastic Four project in the works, set to grace screens on May 2nd, 2025. Cue the fervent conjecture about pivotal castings, including the likes of Reed Richards, Sue Storm, Johnny Storm, and Ben Grimm. Hold on to your seats because the latest whispers, initially surfacing from Daniel RPK and later corroborated by Slash Film, are pointing to an imminent official announcement regarding Pedro Pascal's involvement. Frankly, it's not a shocker, given the captivating fan art circulating, showcasing how seamlessly Pascal could embody the seasoned and weathered Reed Richards with authenticity. Yet in this whirlwind of speculation and star-studded connections, the truth lies in Marvel's hands. Until they unveil the official word, let the anticipation for what could be a game-changing addition to the MCU continue to build. Now in terms of the original content produced by Netflix, The Gray Man is preparing for a direct sequel and star Ryan Gosling is all set to play the same part he did in the first film. Yep, our favorite. The film's directors, Joe and Anthony Russo, who are most known for their work on Avengers Endgame, as well as the film's co-writer, Stephen McFeely, have all committed to working on the follow-up. In a recent interview with Collider, the head of Netflix film, Scott Stuber, provided some updates and thoughts on the development of the project. Stuber highlighted the benefits of having great actors such as Ryan Gosling, calling the latter watchable and unique. The conversations that have taken place in relation to The Gray Man 2 have also centered on the question of how to delve deeper into Gosling's character and extend the narrative in a way that is relevant. So there's that. 
And as expected, Stuber lauded the extraordinary range and achievements that Gosling has achieved as an actor, and he emphasized the significance of meticulously creating the story in order to highlight the extraordinary qualities of the character. But hey, when can we actually see all of this go down in our nearest cinemas? Well, that's where things get a little foggy. While it's likely that filming for The Gray Man 2 will begin sometime in 2024, its release could be expected in mid to late 2025. That may sound like a long wait, but from what the executive has revealed, it will all definitely be worth it. Prepare for a nostalgic blast from the past as Amazon MGM Studios sets its sights on a live-action Masters of the Universe film, bringing the iconic 80s toys from Mattel to the streaming forefront. Confirming the buzz, Deadline reports that the project is in its early stages, making a transition from Netflix, where it encountered hurdles over the summer. In the driver's seat for this cinematic journey are the dynamic duo Adam and Aaron Nee, known for their work on The Lost City, who were originally steering the ship at Netflix. Alongside them, Kyle Allen remains in the spotlight, holding the starring role as Prince Adam, also known as the Mighty He-Man. Adding fuel to the anticipation is the involvement of producer Todd Black. Masters of the Universe unfurls the tale of orphan Adam, realizing his destiny as a prince charged with saving a distant land from the clutches of the nefarious wizard Skeletor. This beloved intellectual property has recently seen animated renditions on Netflix, including She-Ra and the Princesses of Power, Masters of the Universe Revelation, and He-Man and the Masters of the Universe. With Netflix's prior live-action attempt halted in July due to budget constraints, the Masters of the Universe film found new life at Amazon MGM Studios. While there's no official release date or crystal ball predictions yet, the mere prospect of revisiting the cherished 80s universe is enough to send fans into a frenzy of anticipation. Stay tuned for more updates as the He-Man saga gears up for a modern cinematic revival. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.